the payoff from the augmented PC architecture. This is Unreal Engine 4 from Epic, running in real time on prototype hardware. There's some very sophisticated technology here, GPU accelerated particle systems and realistic transmissive materials with substantial subsurface scattering. And this is all running in real time. I can look around as the animation plays using the touchpad input. Not only do we have the power to drive this level of application, but we also have in PlayStation 4 an extraordinarily easy conversion path from the PC world. Now, as to how we accomplish this, <clears throat> PlayStation 4 is centered around a powerful APU that combines eight CPU cores with a state-of-the-art GPU with almost two teraflops of computational performance. Putting CPU and GPU on the same die gives them streamlined access to a common pool of memory. And with PlayStation 4, we're taking an unprecedented step. For system memory, we're using GDDR5, the type of memory typically reserved for uh, top-of-the-line, high-end graphics cards. This gives us 176 gigabytes per second of bandwidth and provides a further boost to the GPU performance. Now, Earlier, I said, we were using a highly enhanced PC GPU. Principally, we've modified the GPU to make compute easier, which is to say, we've made it practical to use the GPU as a general purpose computational device. This next live demo is a million object physics simulation from Havoc. This is primarily running on the GPU, not the CPU. Tasks that can fully occupy the CPU cores will be achievable using just a fraction of the PlayStation 4 GPU. Overall, our goal has been to architect the system so as to support a breadth of experiences. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the development community will choose to use this tool that we've provided for them. Truth is, um, I'm making